everyone, and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Last episode, we did a lot of work and we got these walls built up all the way over here. They're looking a little weird because we got to bring some bark blocks in to fix that stuff up. And then we also finished off the walls over here along with a little area for our river to sweep out underneath the walls coming down from the mountains because we got to have a little space for that or else that whole area back there would be flooded. But yeah, it's looking really, really solid so far. I'm a big fan of it. What we're going to be working on today, though, is we are going to spend a little bit of time working on this area right here, kind of building a little bit of a pig pen. So I've always wanted to go ahead and create this place very dense and have a lot of things in here, whether it's trees bordering the sides of pathways like this, where it's very thick walking through. Or over here, we have the trees on one side and the mountain peak or the mountain cliff faces on the other side. And I think it's really adding up to a cool effect here. And then we have that dense forest over there with our super cool mountains, which are always fun to be looking at. But we got to go ahead and get a little bit more life as we enter into the town area. So what I wanted to do here was I wanted to come in and create a bit of a pig pen. This one's going to be interesting, though, because we got to figure out how we're going to kind of bring everything in here together. So I was thinking we go ahead and kind of start with this guy. And I want to actually have real pigs in here. So that's going to cause a little bit of a problem because I basically want to be able to do stuff like that. So what we're going to have to do to help make up for it is we're going to need to go ahead and bring in a lot of oak leaves and make the outside of this really tall so it looks like there's actually like leaves growing up. And we got to make sure there's no place for pigs to get out because a pig could squeeze through there. A pig could jump over the top of this. They could go under like through there over the top, whatever it might be. They can get out a lot of different places. So what we're going to use a lot to help with this is we're actually going to fill up little gaps like that with fences. Then on top of this stuff, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically bringing these guys in right here and we can kind of do something like this and go ahead and kind of border that and top it off there. So there's no way for pigs to be getting out. We'll have ways for ourselves to get in, but there's no way a pig can really get out of there. Yeah, so they can't get, actually they might be able to get out of that gap. Let's go and throw in there for good measure. So we're gonna basically keep that going all the way around, figure out a different, a few different ways we can kind of do this and make it work. I don't think they can actually jump up a full block onto a trap door. I think that's actually something they can't do. So we might be able to get away with that in a few spots to kind of help bring in that extra little bits of detail and things like that throughout here. Because it would look a little weird. That looks a little weird. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, what we're going to go ahead and start with here is basically bringing this fence going all the way around this area like this. And we can go ahead and break that guy right there. And we might actually go ahead and kind of do a little lower one right there. Just add in these extra little details right here. And it'll be oh so cool. And we can do bam, 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 like this. And we gotta go ahead and turn all of the ground in this area into some super cool looking dirt and podzol and stuff like that to make it really look like it's a pig, a pigsty. Really, really gross and disgusting. Lots of things going on. So we wanna go ahead and do bam, 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 one, two, three, and bam, one, two, three. And let's do one, two, three, and we could do that up to a straight line. And then we can kinda go one, two, three, and then do one right here. Bring this guy up and then one, two, three, and bam, right there. So we can end that guy right off in the corner. We can have a little bit of a covered area right here for them to kind of rest in, get away from the storms, what you would call it, all that good stuff. And we got a good little bit of a setup going on here. We got to figure out some way we can do a gate to this area. So I think right now we're going to go ahead and leave this guy open. Uh, we're probably just going to go ahead and do fence gates across here just to keep it super simple and make it something that we can go in and out of pretty easily. But yeah, that's the whole plan for this guy. We want to get a lot of detail into this area, make it look super cool and make it look like something that people want to explore. So we're going to have the entrance right there. Then we can come up to this guy, bam and bam and bam, bam like that. And that's going to be basically something a pig can literally just walk up on top of. So to fix that, we can go ahead and do something right there, right there. And that's a little weird looking, but it'll be okay. I think we'll be totally fine there. Uh, this guy, we can go ahead and do an up, down, and a top like that. Replace this right here, and then we got to figure out how we're going to get all of our pigs into the area. So you can see we got our nice little wall built up here, super fast. I love this wall design. It's super basic. It's really, really easy to do, and it's just so fast to put together. I've never really made a lot of wall designs that are this simple, but I really, really like this one. It's super Super easy to make, super easy to do, very, very quick to build up. Usually the walls, like when we were doing the ones over back in White Glen way, way long ago, those things would take me like 20, 30 minutes to do the walls around one of our fields. 
mostly because we had to go ahead and build the whole wall, shape it out, and then come back and add texture variation every which way and everything like that. So at least now we don't have to deal with that part. Uh, let's go and do that. Should be good. We got to be careful because right in here we actually made a mistake and they could actually jump up that. So we want to make sure, basically we want it to look like on this side that the pigs are actually eating the leaves that are kind of coming into this area. So they're more built up on this outer area and it's kind of more that they can't get out of here um, and they can't really fit their way out. I know we're making this path really, really skinny and we're leading up into a big city entrance like this guy right here. But I think that's okay because we're going to have another entrance to the city up there that's going to be much wider and larger and easier to get through or easier to kind of get into the area for the city. That'll be kind of like the main, main gate. Like this is a big main gate here, but the main, main gate's up there. I don't know. The main entrance. We'll go with that one for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish getting these oak leaves up here. And then I think it's time that we go wrangle up some pigs, try and get them into this area and see what adv adventures await us while we try and do that. So I'll be back with you guys. Once we track down some pigs, we can bring them back over here. All right, guys, welcome back. So we got pretty much the base set up for this area, and I think it's time that we go ahead and find some piggies out here. As you can see, we brought the texture variation kind of into the base of this area to make it look like there's some animals romping around and really starting to kind of destroy and tear up the place as they're eating all the grass away and things like that. I thought it was a cool a little bit of detail bits we could add in here just to add extra bits of variation and color and things like that. These posts that we got set up right here are going to be where the kind of overhang area for the pigs to hide underneath is going to be sitting. So we still got to come back in here and make those guys up. It'll be pretty cool. But what we're going to be doing right now is we got some carrots on our hot bar. So we're going to go ahead and try and find some pigs, hopefully before nighttime. Otherwise, this will be a pretty interesting adventure. I think there might be a few of them on over here. There's some cows, there's some sheepies. There's more sheepies. We got some cows right over there. We just need two pigs and then we can go ahead and start growing them up ourselves. Let's land on here and see if we can't find any. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I don't know what's going on here. Why are we, get no, we're getting 100 FPS. Why are we getting, why are we getting frame drops? That's weird. But yeah, we got some sheeps. Any piggies over here? Do they even spawn in birch forest? I don't know. Where, where do pigs spawn? Where do pigs spawn? Where do pigs fly? When pigs fly, I don't know. Nothing over here. Let me go see if I can't find some guys, maybe something a little bit closer, and we'll see how it'll be looking coming backwards. Bad news is I've been searching around for quite a while and we haven't found any pigs. Good news is there's a bunch of sheep over here so we can go ahead and make ourselves a bed real quick because I did not bring one with us. So we need to go ahead and run over here real fast and see if we can't chop down a tree, make a bed real fast, and then sleep the night away. There's a pig, we got our first pig. Okay, good, we're good, we got one. Let me go ahead and make this bed up here and we can sleep through the night and we're gonna be all okay. We can go ahead and bam. And we need two and we do bam, get our craft table, place that guy on the ground. I did find some clay, so I want to gather that bit up right there. Bam, 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 we're good to go and sleep. So we can go ahead and bring this pig back. Let me go ahead and see if there's another one around us. Then we can start moving our way back over to the, up the mountain from this underneath side. Why did we go this way? All right, Mr. Piggy Piggy, where'd you go? There you are. Where, you got any buddies over here? There's your sheep buddy. We need another pig buddy. Where is these pigs? Let me go ahead and get up here and see if we can't find any. Let's see what's going on up here. I still feel like I'm lagging like crazy and I really don't, ooh, that's gonna fall. Let's go and break you and we can get all the way up. Oh, look, a nice sapling. We can go plant that guy right there. Are there any other pigs? We got one right there. I don't see any. I really hope you actually still lead them with carrots. Hey, there he is. Look, he just wandered over to us. What a, what a nice little guy. Do you like this? Do you like this? Hello? We go this way? Yep, we're gonna... Oh, that's gonna kill you, isn't it? Come on, buddy. Let's go over here. Come on. Let's go... Where's the shortest drop? You can go down. Down that. It'll be fine. It'll be... Come on. It's nice down there. It's friendly. It's perfectly fine. I need a saddle. I could get the achievement. Whoops. Sorry, bud. Let's see. Will you follow me? Pigs, you follow. Will you follow? Come on, buddy. Come on. Your buddy wants to follow. There's two of you. I need two of you guys. I don't care if you're male or female. You both breed no matter what. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's like, ooh, carrot to breed? Okay, let's go. All right. It's morning time. We got a whole day ahead of us. We can trek our way across this annoyingly, weirdly shaped plains bomb, which actually looks really cool. I'd love to build something over here at some point. But it might be on the far side of a mountain range because I plan on the mountain range to kind of end at the edge of the swamp right there. But, you know, that's 
No, come on, guys. Come on. These these guys are being such a pain. Let me see what, how far we can get over there. A little bit of a progress update for you guys here. We're finally on the edge of the swamp biome. We're going through it a little bit of the way. We've already had to go across two rivers here. And one of them, the dude in the back there, has gotten lost on every single time. So I decided we're just going to start going around the swamp biome through the birch forest now. And it's it's been a long while. Day's almost halfway over already, and we just started. But we're now coming into view of the mountain range, so we're getting closer for sure. Let's make sure both these guys are still following. I see one pig. Where's pig two? Where is pig two? Pig two, come on, where'd you go? Do you need a name? There you are, buddy. Hey, hey, bud. Hey. Now let's go back and get pig one. Oh, there you guys both are. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. All right, we'll 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 see what we can get through this way. We are finally in civilization, but this guy right here does not want to move forward with us anymore. For some reason, he keeps losing interest. I swear it's the same one. We're finally in civilization, which means we're almost there. We can actually take our first group of animals up the edge of our mountain range and be the first caravan going across the mountain, which I'm pretty excited about. Sorry for the jingling in the background. Koto's a little restless right now. I don't know what's up with him, but he wants to eat literally anything he can get his hands on. So, you know, that's super fun. And I'm trying to control pigs at the same time, deal with a dog, a RL. Man, it's a good it's a good day coming home from work. <laughs> These guys are slowly working up the hill here with us, which has been it's been a good journey. So far we haven't had too many issues. The day is about 60-70% of the way over, which we're still good. We got enough sunlight to get ourselves all the way up here. And yeah, we got our final journey coming in here together. I realize I haven't done any of these types of things in a long, long time. He stopped following again. This dude will not follow. I don't know what's up with him. He's like bugged out on that grass block. Oh, now you're falling. Oh, there we go. He just needed to move a little bit. He just needed a little nudge moving forward. Got a loud car going by in the background. It's always fun. Yeah, we're coming up here into the forest. And I, yeah, like I was saying, I just haven't done a whole lot of this like survival, just kind of gathering types of things. I've been talking about a little bit with people over in the Discord channel that I'm really excited to just kind of, once 1.13, gets here i really want to just take like a small break from everything and what are you doing get out of the forest you'll get lost in there it's impossible to get out of this thing come on i can't get you out of there come on big e big e come on let's go this way you know you want to come yep there you go but yeah 1.13 lands i'm really excited to just kind of do some of the classic survival things again we got the new season of decidedly vanilla popping up here and i'm really excited to get going on that guy i think it'd be a good way to mix things up take a little bit of a break from this guy um and just kind of take a just take a little bit of a backseat for the whole like massive buildings and just kind of enjoy building up a minecraft base again we do all this crazy huge building stuff but it's always fun kind of going back to the roots and just doing what we start with i think that'd be pretty cool Let's go ahead and get our piggies in here. In here. Let's go, piggy, 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 piggy. Come on, buddy, get out of the grass. I will stab you with a sword. JK, I won't, I need you. I need you guys. You will be fat and happy and full of carrots in two seconds if you just follow me over here. That, yep, now you wanna come in. That's right. Now let's hope this place is actually pig proof. <laughs> let's hope this place is actually pig proof. Let's go ahead and get our carrots out, and you guys can have a carrot, and you can have a carrot. We got our first baby piggy right there. Look at that, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more work done, breed these guys up a little bit more, and I'll be back with you. I'm gonna also make sure that they can't get out of here at all. So, I went to bed right after telling you guys I was gonna watch them for a bit. They did not stay inside at all. We gotta figure out how they're getting out of here. I feel like the little guy was able to get out by just kind of going through one of the gaps, but like, I don't, I don't get it. Where'd they come from? Also, Coda's being super loud, so sorry. These guys are at least in here. Let's watch them. Let's see if we put a, so he just literally, they just walks under the half slab. That's, he just did that. Can you guys come back in this way? Mr. Big Piggy, how'd you get out? Little piggy can, okay, little pigs can walk through half slabs. That's not good. We might need to breed them all up here and then once they're grown, release them out into the wild. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So as far as I know now, our pigs are totally secured in. They definitely can get on top of trap doors. Definitely didn't know that. So, you know, that's something kind of nice to know now. Let's see. Did we lose our fourth pig? No, he's over here. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's looking at our new place. 
So I'm coming over here right now and just filling in these last little bits right there. That water looks real weird. We went ahead and built up this little guy right here just for the corner, added a bunch of hay bales in it so they have some food. I know they eat carrots, it's fine. It's the only thing we got. And then we went ahead and did a little water trough, added a craft table back there, some few supports kind of holding this guy up, and then two cauldrons that have really awkwardly bright colored water, but that's fine. Can we feed you again? Can you go boop and boop? Yeah, look at that. We got five piggies now. We got five little piggies. So obviously we need more carrots to breed up these pigs. So I think what we're gonna do now though, is we are going to go ahead and finish off the front area for the rest of this village. Or not village, but the area outside the gate. We haven't even started the village yet. But I want to come ahead, go ahead and move into a time lapse of planting all the rest of the carrots leading up to the river right here, or at least the little stream. So I'll catch you guys on the other side of this here time lapse. All right, guys, today's commenter question of the day is from Yindi. He says, awesome video. I love the Nordic style. Really looking forward to the to the town. Out of interest, how big slash developed will it be? Like a small village or regional capital with an army and shops and houses and stuff. I think for this one, we'll probably go somewhere in between the size of what we have for White Glen, our little farming village down at the edge of this uh, mountain range area. We'll probably go a little bit larger than that, but smaller than Papyrus, if that makes sense. If you kind of look at the terrain behind us, my plan is to have this kind of village sloping up this valleyway that we can see behind the walls here and going up around that corner, then having another section of the walls up there. So pretty much as much as stuff as we can fit into that area is basically gonna be the size of the town. That being said, I've been really playing with the idea of trying to do like a Nordic castle and having a, like a bigger cliff on the far, far end of it. So at the right side, we can see right there at the end of the valley, just having like another large cliff up there and just doing a big Nordic castle on it. I think that could be really fun, but that's also me getting into every castle ever. So we'll see what actually happens there. We got a lot of projects right now. So I think I should probably stop trying to pre-plan everything ever in this game right now because we have more things planned than we have projects complete, I feel like. So we'll we'll see where this goes. We'll see how much we work on it. It's probably gonna be an off and on project as we go from this guy to the port city when 1.13 gets here and all those other things we got planned. But anyways, guys, let's hop back into the world. All right, guys, welcome back. So we are here with our planted crop field. Everything's good to go and we got everything going here. That's pretty much a good point to end off this episode. We've planted that crop field and we came over here and planted this big, or not planted, but we started up this big old pig farm. We got a few piggies in here now. I've been coming over and breeding them up as much as I can. You can see we got a few babies running out around and I believe, I believe it's fully pig proof. I don't think they can get out anymore. So that's, that's pretty good. We had, I think every single one of them at least one point in this episode escaped the pig farm. Don't you get out of there. You stay in there. Okay, you can't get out there. You're into the corner of a bush. But anyways, guys, I got a question for you guys. We've talking, we've been talking a lot about planning projects, what we're looking at in the future. And I'm curious, I want, I want to go here in the past a little bit. What's been your favorite project that we've done in this whole series so far? And also what's your least favorite project? I want to just kind of see what you guys have been enjoying and what you guys would be like, eh, we probably don't need those going forward. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. I'm actually really curious to hear about the least favorite project part, actually, because that kind of helps me gauge where we should we should be moving away from more than what we should be moving towards. And I think that's also something really good to focus on as well and kind of learn from your mistakes there. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy, like I say every single episode. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you on the flip side.